Willie D. Live. Juvenile, a.k.a. <laughs> Juvie the Great. <laughs> What's up, boss? Yeah, what man. Doing? Hey, how you doing, King? Oh, man, good, man. Glad, glad I'm here, finally. Man, let, let me say something that I typically don't say when I do podcasts, but just straight out the gate. Thank you. Oh, man, it's all love, man. Man, you you you've been doing it, bro. Like you've been doing. I'm no, I'm, I'm talking about thank you for your contributions. I mean, thank you for coming here, but thank you, you know, for what you've done for the culture. You know, like time. you you are one of the unsung heroes of of hip hop, and people need to know that. You oh man, thank you for that, brother. Yeah, thank you for absolutely. That, brother. Yeah. And which brings me to this: What do you think about this? These. Uh, List these people put out these lists about top this, top that. Who making the list? Exactly. You know, can they be transparent on the people who writing the list? Where you from? What area you came from? When you're born? Who, you know, who gave you the right to make these lists? Because I want to know what you're judging, what you're making your list off. Is it a merit or are you going by numbers? Because if you're going by numbers, then you're really missing the ball. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, with with me, I feel like the numbers should have a whole lot to do with it. A lot of the cats ain't saying it. They saying, nah, because this era, and da 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 I say, yeah, they say that shit about basketball. I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? If you saying top 50, it should be the top 50 sellers all the time. You know, I, you know that's my. That's just how I yeah. see it. They're going to have to re- redefine it. They're going to have to redefine yeah. it. Yeah, because the way I, the way I, when I. Some of them cats on that list ain't even platinum. Come on yeah. now. You know, I mean, shouldn't you have a plaque or two on the wall? You know. But, but what what do you say about what, what do you what do you say to people who say if it's just about the numbers? Michael Jordan had less numbers than LeBron James, but there are people who make the argument that there's no way possible that LeBron James is a better overall basketball player than Michael Jordan. Did he have the impact Michael Jordan had? Yeah, but. You know that's kind of who, who's your favorite. Do you think do you think LeBron is is better a better player than Jordan? See that now that now see that's why I say <laughs> with basketball it goes by errors. You know what okay. I'm saying? Because if you put Jordan on the court with LeBron on the court and both of them in a prime, I don't know how that's going to turn out. You know, mm-hmm. but I can tell you one thing that I know about Jordan. Jordan was a straight assassin. Right. Like you know, Jordan's whole objective was to I'm going to shame you. I'm going to rip your heart out. Uh, LeBron is not like that's not who LeBron is. LeBron is more like a passive aggressive kind of guy when he needs to or he have to, but he's a facilitator, you know. So it's, I, I look at those as two different players, but dude, a champion too. So so I don't yeah. know, man. That's a hard them two right there. That's for me. That's a hard thing to to analyze. Yeah. Uh, well, it says a lot about you know. It says a lot about the numbers when you look at. Um, Let's 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 say somebody like Robert Ory who has seven championships. Yeah. Uh, Robert Ory, great, great yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, hoop his ass off, but he has seven championships. Allen Allen Iverson has zero. Right. They, you know, like I haven't heard anybody put Robert Ory before. Allen Iverson. Yeah, but with music, what makes a difference, and I'm going to give you a prime example. You know, in the top 50, most of the time they put the top 50, they don't put the ghetto boys in. I'm going to throw you in there, right? Yeah. They don't put them in, they don't put, y- put y'all in that top 50, a lot of them. Why? Because it ain't the, it's the numbers. It ain't. The, the numbers is there. Yeah. You know? It, right. It, it, platinum plaques, and that's what I'm saying. That's my argument. My argument is, like, you know, like, damn, bro, like, shouldn't the, shouldn't the top 50 at least have record sales, too, to go with yeah. it? Shouldn't they have yeah. that? Like, you, I can understand not having, you know, um, you know, maybe not the fame, you know, like, the props. Yeah. But the numbers, man, come on, bro. If you sold this amount of records, you should be you should be recognized somewhere. Yeah. In that. That's yeah, a contribution yeah, yeah, in hip-hop. It, it should definitely... How, the numbers should have something to do with it, but it shouldn't be the single qualifying, you know, qualifying stat, right? No, nah, it, like, it shouldn't. It but shouldn't. But you made a great point when you talked about the the error. Errors do matter in, yeah. in in sports. Not not to some extent music because we didn't have the opportunity that some of the artists have today in terms of getting shine. You know, being able to. The reach so thing. many people yeah. and, and being able to uh, even put ourselves on independently. Social media did that. Yeah, we didn't yeah. we didn't have those opportunities. We didn't have some of the some of the uh, sponsorship 
opportunities that guys have today. You know, Run DMC kicked the door in with with the Adidas thing and all of yeah, that. Right, they kicked right. the door in to, so so that you can have you know Drake and all these type of people doing these you know multi million dollar uh, you know commercials and stuff. Right. So eras does matter, and then but but in sports it matter even more because you know growing up, man. I fell in love with football because of the contact. I fell in love with basketball, not just for the skill, but the contact. Like, can you handle this paint? You know, yeah, like, pressure, you a pressure. sucker. You know what I'm saying? If you come up in this paint, and you, put can, you, down. you know, you know I, what I'm saying? If you can't yeah. handle this paint, like, man, like, and the era of the past was made for guys like me who, you know, I may not necessarily could had the best jump shot, but if you come up in that paint, you are not dunking. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not doing Ask no Jordan. dunking. I don't care how much you fly. <laughs> Ask Jordan in the beginning. <laughs> you ain't dunking on me. Against Detroit, man. It was Detroit get, <laughs> get put Jordan down every game, every every chance they got. But, you know, for me, for hip-hop, and like I say, like, you know, let, let, if, if they don't want to go by the numbers, let's 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 put a little bit of the billboard charts in it to it. Don't billboard go by numbers? Yeah, it, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. I feel like if these cats ain't charting, if that's what I mean by numbers. I yeah. ain't just talking about the record sale. Also, I'm talking about that number. Yeah. Like you know, where where were where were you on Billboard? Pop, you know, popularity wise, radio play, uh, club play, you know. Yeah. Where were you? Were you, or were you a creator of an era? Did you did you come out with music? Did your, did your music transcend and change the way everybody everybody went about the way they dress, the way they talk? You know, I, I feel like those are the cats who should be in the top fifty. And I I, I see names on there that that I'm, I'm like I don't yeah. want I don't want pinpoint nobody, but I see names that I'm like, come on, bro, you ain't that cat to. himself yeah. don't believe he should be in the top fifty. Come on, man. Right. You know? Yeah, you you talking about yourself though. Like and, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like you you one of them dudes, you definitely should be in there. Like when you start talking about I ain't even in you're there. You talking about numbers and you talking about impact, you know, like man, like you know, and look, you, I, you I, in the discussion. I feel like I, I feel like, you know, I got a legal fight. That's why when it when it started, when they started putting the top fifties up, I went, found the old billboard chart. And I pulled up all the greatest, all the greatest self selling albums of all time. And guess where I'm at? <laughs> I'm in the top fifty. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking all time: Michael Jackson, MC Hammer, uh, Black Eyed Peas. These are the people that's that's on this list. You know, and I'm on that list. I don't see half the rappers in the game on the list. Not trying to say that they they, they don't belong on the list or they didn't do anything. But I, I feel like if I'm in the top. If I'm on that list, then I damn sure belong in the top fifty. Yeah. It's no, you know, it's it's it, you know, and I, my argument was to the other artists that know they don't belong on this list. Y'all should be the ones out there arguing about this. Y'all should be the main ones saying like, "Damn, Juve ain't on there, but I'm on there." Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. And you 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 get on the list by virtue of being yourself. Your first album, being myself. Was, was you cognizant that? This is what I'm gonna do my entire career, or was this just you just being yourself for that first album? I just wanted to be out there. I wasn't really thinking. I didn't even know. You know, you, you know, know that foresight. You should. I didn't. You're profit, man. Yeah, You're profit. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> now you, gotta, you don't have him walking up to me saying, "Juve, come on, bro, tell me what's gonna happen in the future." Now nah, it was one of them things. Like I didn't know, man. And things sometimes, man, when you when you have good, great intentions and you live your life the right way and you do things the right way, good things come to you. Yeah. That's how I look at that. Yeah, yeah. Man, what was the name of that label that you was you first on? Was it Warlock? It was Warlock. Warlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that uh, <laughs> that that album. What I mean, what not an album, but what what happened to the label? Man, that label. Didn't they Man, sell or something like what that? What happened with them was they I, like that when I originally did the album, it wasn't even with Warlock. It was S O H. So they sold, and Warlock winded up with it, and Warlock re-released the album after my success started. So the, the album oh. never came out back in the days. Like, people think it, it never came out. Yeah, because they had Jungle Brothers, and who else was on that label? Uh, that was I'm like group. old groups. I'm talking yeah. about, like, old groups, bro. Like, I ain't, yeah. I ain't know half the people on the label. How'd you end up signed to a, a New York label? 
I, I, I can say I wasn't even signed to them. That was in them days when I didn't understand what a contract was. So you signed to one person That's and before then they cash sold money. the contract exactly. to them. So well, they didn't sold the contract. Them. They sold the album to them. I, I had I no mean, gift. Yeah, yeah, they, I ain't even do no paperwork masters. or nothing with them dudes, man. I ain't, I ain't trust them. I ain't know what the deal was. Yeah. So I just let that one go. That was something that... And then they ain't bring no revenue in on it anyway. They probably lost more on um, putting the album out itself and putting it in the stores and they thought they thought they was gonna profit off it. Mm -hmm. But people ain't go buy, buy that shit. That shit was trash. Yeah. And I was just trying to make a check and walk out the door with it, to be honest. 